Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to push a docker image to AWS Elastic Container Registry. Uh, Elastic Container Registry is uh, an AWS version of Docker Hub where you can store your uh, Docker images which can be then used to uh, you know, run your applications on containers uh, using AWS services like ECS or you know EKS, whatever. Okay. So uh, once you have built your application, uh, and the output of your application, which is a Docker image, can be stored in ECR and then can be used to uh, no, run applications in containers. Okay. So uh, let's see how to push a Docker image to uh, ECR as a first step. Okay. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I have a simple, uh, very simple web application here. Uh, this is a HTML web application that I'm going to, you know, uh, create a Docker image out of this and then I'm going to push that image to AWS ECR. Okay. So, uh, I mean, you can push whatever app you have. Uh, I'm just using a simple uh, HTML web application for demo purposes. Okay. So, uh, for the first thing is let's go to Elastic Container Registry Service in AWS and here click on Get Started or you can here click on Repositories as well and click on Create Repository and uh, I'm going to create a private uh, repository and uh, let's call this a simple web app okay and click on create repository okay so I'm going to select all the default setting for now so uh, once you have created uh, this repository the next step is uh, like I mean, basically this is where your uh, images for this uh, web application will be stored okay so uh, in order to be able to push the image uh, to this repository uh, we need to set up some uh, IAM user, okay? So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to IAM here and uh, I'm going to create a user for this uh, specific use case. Okay, click on users and click on create user. Let's call this as web app docker admin or something like that, okay? And click on next and click on attach policies directly and here search for EC2 and attach this Amazon EC2 container registry full access. So if you expand this policy, what this is doing is it's basically giving all the permissions to ECR and uh, stuff like that. okay, so this permission should be sufficient for us. So select this one and click on next and click on create user, okay? So now we have this user created. Um, I'll come back to this one so the next thing that we need to do is here in this repository like i mean uh, in your application so i'm using uh, visual studio here you can use any id of your choice so let's uh, i have already installed aws uh, cli in my machine so if you don't have aws cli installed you should do that and you should also have a docker installed in your uh, laptop okay so uh, once you have that uh, what we are going to do is we are going to set up aws credentials here so for that i'm going to do aws configure Okay, so enter and it's going to ask for AWS access key ID. So the access key ID is for this user that you created, click on security credentials here and click on create access key and uh, I'll select I'm going to use it for CLI and click on next. Okay, give some description and click on create access key. So now your access key is created. So copy this access key and enter and uh, secret access key copy this one and make sure you don't reveal your credentials i'm going to delete this uh, later so default region is us east one so make sure whatever region you are selecting here you work on the same region throughout uh, so, okay and enter so now you have uh, configured your aws cli with this user okay so whenever you run any aws cli command uh, it will be executed through this user and uh, this user needs to have perm sufficient permissions to execute those commands okay so now uh, we have set up the access part uh, now let's go back to this uh, repository and if you click on this repository you can see the say this button called the view push commands here okay so click on that view push commands and copy this first command so this uh, command is basically uh, authenticating your uh, docker client to aws uh, ecr okay so let me run that command over here sorry i think i didn't copy it properly okay hit enter and you should see uh, something like login succeeded or something like that okay yeah now uh, the next command is basically to uh, you know 
build a docker your image okay so you should have your uh, docker file so i am basically using a simple nginx server to uh, run this uh, web app so i am copying this index H, uh, html into this uh, uh, you know path of the nginx server okay so you can have uh, your docker file defined in whatever uh, you know way you want so if once you have the docker file and you can just copy this command and uh, build your application okay so this will uh, build your i mean application into a docker image okay so now your docker image is built so after that what we need to do is we need to like uh, tag this so let me And this one okay so the next step that you need to do is you need to uh, push this image that you have created into AWS uh, ECR okay so for that the command is going to be the stalker push uh, let me just copy that and paste it over here so this will push the image that you just created uh, to this uh, you know ECR elastic container repository so let me enter and uh, it says Pairing and waiting so it's going to push this uh, image into our ACR and then we should be able to see that in our repository in AWS console let's wait for this uh, command to be finished so it says pushed I think we should be able to see the image over here let me just refresh this so yep if you see uh, this uh, docker image that we built is uh, pushed into this repository simple web app okay so yep now that is how you push the image into ACI so once you have this image over here you can you know use this docker image to run your application in uh, containers like you know kubernetes or ECS so uh, I'm going to demonstrate those things in my upcoming videos so this video was just a simple demo on how I'm showing you how to uh, you know, build your Docker image and uh, push it to AWS ECR. Uh, in the next next videos, we are going to uh, see how to run this uh, image in a container. And uh, so, okay, so I hope you found this video helpful, and see you in the next video.